remove the panel and to remove this panel uh, we need to pull like this cover out I've already pulled it out a little bit but that's how it comes out because we have a screw in here and then we also need to take this little cover here for the SRS there will be a screw in there as far as I remember we also need to remove this little bit here and that so I'm just gonna get the tools for taking those out this is a tiny little Phillips Phillips screws that we need to take out and this is a Torx possibly a T25 and the Torx in there is gonna be uh, slightly uh, bigger maybe a T30 or so same as that right so I removed the little screw from there and this little thing should just come out it's not really particularly held in in any specific way also I removed the three Phillips from here so this little cover should also come out it might be stuck to this rubber so it may want to come out with the whole rubber here but uh, you can just pull it uh, and stack it from the rubber basically and I've also removed the torques that are in there so one there and one where the SRS sign is and now with some plastic prying tools something like this you can uh, go in from the side I've already done a little bit of it and then you can pry this open my door may come out a little bit easier because I already had it off some time ago because I changed the uh, the speakers and we may want to pull this bit out as well um, I th as far as I remember this sort of um, pops out I'm gonna try with some I don't remember very well but I don't want to break it <laughs> so we may just some of these slide and then sort of pop out but that's usually the case with these things either trying to remember how they come out yes so it sort of it pops out from the top you can see the clip there it's clipped into there and the other bit here it's uh held in in there so now we know right it, I think there is uh, maybe one more screw here okay so technically we should be able to get this uh, panel out don't think there's any more screws here but uh, we do need to sort of push this door uh, panel up and sort of like this could always open the okay there we are so panel it's out here disconnected um, if you're doing this with two hands you don't necessarily need to remove the whole panel unless you wanted to but if you want to remove the whole panel you can you'll have to disconnect some of the uh, cables here obviously now uh, this cable here is the one connected to the switch that I want to take out so well I may disconnect this just uh, to have a better view and uh, if you are taking this panel out then uh, this is pretty much how we need to to do it here and then this comes out like that if you have the uh, the light down there also needs to be 
disconnected. And then we have this switch here. Does need to come out so this is the little module that i was talking about that may that often goes faulty well it doesn't sorry it doesn't often go faulty it just uh, it could be faulty in this case and uh i'm just trying to see how it comes out it's got a little it's got a tiny little clip in there okay All right so one door panel out and that's how you can get that off so hope the video helps don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching